Hey everyone, this is Josh from Before, and I'm here with McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Dark Knight Returns Joker. I found this guy at Target. I found him and Carrie Kelly, so I'm still waiting on Superman and the titular Dark Knight himself. But I'm uh, pretty stoked about this wave. I really dig it when they go really hard on a specific art style, and they certainly have done that here. I'm just going to get him out of here and not, not gab too much. Take a look at him here in three dimensions. Really love the silhouette of this guy. We've been getting a lot of Jokers lately, and in many ways, this one feels the most unique. Uh, again, due to that Frank Miller-inspired look. This guy was my least, probably least anticipated of this Dark Knight Returns wave. Don't have a huge attachment necessarily to that version of the Joker, but he looks pretty good. Oddly, they've gone with this weird sort of hybrid look of the different suits that he wore in The Dark Knight Returns. Um, when he wore this jacket, he had darker pants. And I think a different colored tie even. So uh, seems a little odd and I think it keeps it from feeling exactly just like his appearance in the comic. I was not sold on the face sculpt based on the promo photos, but here seeing it in person, I'm a little bit warmer to it. It does feel like they went with the panel where they're in the Tunnel of Love. He's got the battering in his eye. Um, it seems like an odd moment to choose for the portrait here. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes when it's coming to life a little bit when I move it in different directions, but not my favorite. You know what, these ball joints on the wrists, they are very prominent and they're loose as a goose. I don't love it. I also don't love this knife that he came with. It is completely soft. Uh, so the blade looks like Ocarina of Time. I do like the handle, but because it's completely soft, it has no rigidity. Um, squeezing it into his hand becomes a real chore. Sucks. I don't like that. But I do love the silhouette. I really appreciate when they give us these different body shapes. So he doesn't have that um, sort of butterfly cavity that we're used to. Oh, and he doesn't have any bicep cuts at all. Um... So I'm really, let's see, the no bicep cuts becomes an issue, I think, when you've got somebody with a, wearing a suit and tie, um, and now he can't, I mean, I'd like him to be able to sort of like hold that tie like he's adjusting it. He can't interact with that at all. That is pretty unfortunate, but I really like the way they did this jacket with this pattern printed into it. Would have been cool to see with some, some paint in there. Somebody's going to take the time and put all the little purple paint in every single one of these cavities, and it's probably going to be pretty impressive. Really fluid rotation at the waist. A nice little bit of movement there in the torso, which I really like, and this jacket moves... Um, just the way you need it to, but, but still has this cinched waist. Man, I, I, I love the way that works, and I love the way that feels. And he's got surprisingly high kicks. Not that you need this guy to, but he does it. Single knees are stiff. They rotate from there. They don't look great. When you bend them like that. Maybe would have appreciated if this could hang down a little bit lower. Maybe a little bit more NECA style. Um, but he's got some nice rotation there at the hips. You know I love to see that. Prominent balls at the ankles. But a good range there. Love the shape of the feet. 
Oh, you know, I appreciate that they tried to print that pattern even underneath there. Um, they didn't do it on that side, unfortunately. Uh, but an effort was made. I appreciate it. Now, he comes with an extra left hand. His, the Out of the box, he came with a left fist. This is more of a gesture hand. I personally, if um, if they're going to give us extra hands, I would, I would appreciate being able to put together a look that had no accessory hands at all. Um, I don't know if, I don't know where you guys come down on that. Would you rather it be this hand that was the fist that you could swap out or the accessory hand that you could swap out and have just a, a clean look without the telltale action figure accessory hand? But I much prefer that hand of the fist. It's got a lot more dimension and got a lot more personality. I'm a sucker for a good gesture hand. I like it when the villain figures are able to look like they're kind of just Bond villain style giving away their evil scheme or philosophizing about whatever their twisted worldview is. You could, if you wanted to, tuck that tie into the jacket. I don't know if it's worth it or if it gives you much of anything, but it is a slightly different look and could even maybe look closer to a bolo tie. And if you want to look a little closer in there, there's not much to see. There is no detail really being covered by this jacket. Take a look at him here with a bunch of other jokers. Next to these guys, in many ways, he is the most unique, and in many ways, he is the least vital. I'm really only picking this guy up to build that horsey. There's a lot of things I like about him. It's just not the version of the Joker that I really need for my collection. Throw in some other McFarlane 7-inch figures for comparison, and again, personally, I'm not opposed at all to this bold stylistic departure. Though it may be a factor for you if you're trying to, you know, based on what you already have in your collection, based on what you're wanting to include, um, might be hard to carve out a place for figures that don't look like they necessarily came from the same universe. And again, this is the first figure from the Dark Knight Returns wave that I am reviewing, so I don't have any of those to compare him to. Um, and I will be putting this horsey together uh, in a future video once I have collected all the pieces. There you go, folks. Dark Knight Returns Joker. I'm lukewarm on it. A lot of things I really do love. The silhouette, the art style. But not being able to interact with that tie is a huge miss for me. And I just don't have a super strong attachment for Dark Knight Returns. I do appreciate the talk show look, you know, and especially the kind of influence that had on the Joaquin Phoenix movie. Uh, you know, a lot of strong, strong ideas in there. Just not quite my jam. So decide for yourself, but you are going to have to get them if you want to put that horsey together. So there you go. Thanks for watching, folks. I will see you next time. Bye.